All right, you'll see on the left here, this was the spreadsheet one tutorial I did with trigonometry. I'm going to do one more little one here with uh, how to create a centroid chart here because those were a pain. And uh, if you remember, it was pretty straightforward. This one's actually easier than the trig, I think. So if you remember the charts that we worked with, let's put cap locks on. I had an X and a Y. Those are the centroid distances in the X direction and the Y direction. Then I had to find the area. Then I had to multiply X times the area. And then I had to multiply Y times the area. And then over on the side, I had, depending on how many I had, I might have had, I had, if we had just two of them, but if we had three or even four, doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to put a four in there. And then we had totals. Okay? Very easy to do. In fact, I'm going to highlight this and turn this into a chart so it looks more like what we were drawing and working with. Okay, and so you you would put in all of these. You have to put in the x distance in for the to the centroid and the y distance to the centroid. And remember, it's different. Rectangle halfway over, halfway up. Triangle a third of the way over, third of the way up. Circle it's the center, and so on. Once you've done that, then you also have to put in the area. I'm sorry, but since we're working with different shapes. If all of them were rectangles, you could just multiply this times this to get your area. If all of them were triangles, you could just make it one half this times this. But since we have different things, we've got to put these in. So you're going to, have to put in all three of these numbers, and then this one, equal sign, all that is is x times a. That's it. And this one is equal sign y times a. Well, I got too big a thing here. Wait. I didn't, it didn't, it carried it over. So let's try that again. x times, whoops, c. No equal sign means no formula. This times my area. Okay, and this would be my equal sign y times the area. Now, I don't have any numbers ever because I don't have anything here. If I put in, you know, if this was 3 and this was 8, and if it was a rectangle, um, let's say it was 22. Actually, oh, actually, you're right. I could not have multiplied these. Oops, my bad. You can't multiply these to get the area because this is not the lengths. These are the centroid distances. No, this would not work. But if I do that and hit enter, you can see it calculates that out. Now, nice thing here, I can take this and copy it all the way down. Home, fill, down. And this one, home, fill, down. And it works because if you look up here, it goes down to the next row, 7. 8, which is the row it's in, and 9. So those work fine. And then nothing goes in here or here, but these are the sums. And so, really easy. I put, wait, I put an equal sign here, and I do sum, and I just click at the top and highlight down the bottom and see it does the whole thing. Close it, hit enter. It's just adding that up. I can do, um, actually, I can probably do the same thing here. Let's check her out. Home, fill, right, add them up. If it was a different, if, uh, if here it was four and six and 77, you get the idea. It's adding them up. Okay, but that's not my answer. Remember, we have to find the centroid. So, the centroid x and 
centroid y. I'm going to put them right here. Remember the formula? It was, we hit an equal sign, it was for the x, it was the xa divided by a, the sum of the a's. And this would be equal sign ya divided by a. Enter. And that would be it. So this is a full, this is it. Once you've created this chart, all you've got to do, you fill in these first, col first three columns for each of your shapes, and it works really well. Let me just show you, boom, 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 I got it here. I think it's still up. No? Yeah, this is one that I did for a practice, and I did this chart, this picture right here. I did this centroid, and you can see that these are the numbers. I put in these sets of numbers here, and it automatically calculated it at 6.2 in the X and 5.9 right about there is the, uh, this isn't the scale because this is seven, this is six, but right about there would be my centroid, okay? So this is putting in actual numbers and getting a calculation and I put a picture in there. So it's really that easy. So that's all you gotta do. So that's doing centroids.